Okay, Bismillah ar rahim Okay, folks, welcome back. We're looking at triangles, isosceles triangles, and equilateral triangles. So, what we're going to look at first is. It should be. It's not. Give me a moment. As we said earlier, in this particular question, these two lines are equal. How do we know they're equal? Because they have what in them? They have the line. They have this line here. This line and this line indicate that these two lengths are equal lengths, which makes, makes these two angles the equal. Same. So, that, so that's 50, and then the top one's going to be uh, 80. Okay, I'm going to say you're way ahead. So that's 50, and 50 is 100. 100 minus from F from 180 will give you 80. So, what do we say? That this line here. Okay, let's grab all the brush. Okay, so we have this line here. This line here is equal to this line. Whoops. Why? No, because there's lines here. So we have how many 70 degrees do we have? 70, another one. Uh, C is 70. C is 70. 70 and yeah, 70 is 140. That leaves behind? 40. 40. Yes. Okay. We have here these two lines are also Same. equal in length. Equal. So because they are equal, that makes this angle equal to 40. this angle. So they're both now 40 and 40 is 80. 80 from 180 gives us 100. Now this angle here is 50. Okay, are we looking here? Have you done it? Yes. Put the ruler down then. Okay, this line here indicates that the angle opposite here is the same as angle opposite here because they are going through, these two lines go through lines which are equal in length. So that's 55. G would be also equal to? 55. 55. That will give you 110 and that will leave you behind with? 70. 70, 70. Mr. Yusuf. Are you doing that? Yeah. Okay, Mr. Yusuf, so. This angle is equal to? 35. So I is equal to? 35. 35 and 35 is 70. 70 from 180 is equal to? 100. So this is 65. So this one will also be 65 because these two lines are equal. This angle. So that would be also? 65. 65 and 65 will give you? 50. 130, leaving you behind with 50. This is 74. So this will also be? 74, because this length is equal to this length. 74, 74 will give you what? 108. 70, 70. 70, 78. 72. 72. 74, add 74. 148. 142. 32. So that leaves you behind 180. Left over with 82. Can you say properly, please? Now, these angles here. So what we've been told here again, if you get a straight line. This line here, this length is equal to this length. Which means which angles are equal? Which means this angle is equal to that angle. So 180 minus the 20 will give us, and then you divide that by two equal angles, which is K and K. So that will give you 80 and 80. Okay. Similarly here, 180 take away the 80 will give us? 100. And then you divide that by two, that will give you? 50 and 50. So that will give you 50, and that will give you? 50. So these two here, M and M, are equal? 
So 180 take away 140 will give you 40, and you divide that by 2 will give you 20. 20. 20. Now these three lines uh, which are here, this one and this one, this one, they indicate what type of triangle? And equilateral. equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle, each angle is equal to 60. 60. 60. Now this is 50. And these are both Q, so they're both equal. 180 take away 50 is 130. 130. 130 divided by 2 will give you? 65. Okay. This is 90. And these two are equal. So you got 90 left over from 180. So P and P must be equal to? 45. 45. 45. 180 take away 160 is 20. 10. And these two are both equal to each other. So you have to split in half. 10 and 10. 10. Is that the end of that page? Yeah.